All right, you guys. Well, it has been a few days, both in game and in real life. I uh, had some technical issues with OBS, so I do have to apologize for the quality of the last video. I wasn't aware it was like that until it was already done, but what you gonna do? So, since the last one, we passively got this. I don't know when, so I wasn't able to clip it, but... We got the 500. I think the next one's a thousand. If there even is a next one. Um, yeah, I don't think there is. Just waiting on the 5,000 customers to play in the shop. I think I have a card that I could probably mark up to 5,000. Uh, but then we got a 10,000 one to sell. So we'll see. But today I want to do. Oh, we got the 1,500 customers that we're waiting on. That's fine. Today, I want to get this one and get everything organized. We'll unlock the Destiny Basic Pack. And there was one more. 20 shop expansions. Or was it 10? 10. 10 shop expansions. I went ahead and got the 8 one. Well, 8 of them, I should say. So... Yeah, we got eight, it's nine and ten. That's going to be another four thousand dollars. So, yeah, we'll we'll see how far we get. But right now, I'm kind of tired of boxes everywhere. So we're going to open this up and we're going to buy some some shelving. So let's go ahead and unlock that. There's the one achievement. And then let's buy some shelves. Want the large ones. We'll go with like three of these. Yeah, we'll we'll do three and then we'll have to go another day. Uh how do I want to do this? Let's turn this sideways. I guess we'll just put them against this back wall. There we go. Oh, that space for what? Like 12 different items? Um, the card packs we'll probably leave there. All right. Everything is cleaned up now. It's actually nice. Well, minus these, but these are going to have to be rearranged now. So that's done see here so we got the shop B let's go ahead and can we afford to oh, I need to clear this it's three thousand dollars or we could spend thirty five hundred and just get the big box right off the bat you know I think that's the route we go so there we got the destiny basic pack license and we'll buy one of those. Pretty sure I'm going to have to pay bills here pretty soon. Yeah. That's alright. I can wait. Alright. See what we can get out of here. Alright. Alright. So, a lot of new cards, some duplicates, it's all just fancy versions of these packs, but we do need another rack. Or I can put some of these away. Let's see how much room we have in a box. Okay, I think we're good. So I'm going to run this for a couple of days, get some more money, and then, uh, yeah, we'll expand the shop and get that achievement. Alright, well, it's been a couple of days a couple of shop levels and we've made a little bit of progress i kind of rearranged this a little bit so it's easier to get to when i come through this door we have some fancy cards i'll put those up on the screen right now <laughs>
opened a bunch of packs, unlocked all of these, um, just kind of in general rearranged a few things. But yeah, let's take a look at our cards. So we do have one that I could probably get away with selling for the 5,000, I think it is, for the achievement. Um, got a few cards, nothing worth a lot that we have as a duplicate. However, I did pull duplicate ghost card of the jack turn. So, I mean, these aren't worth much. You'd think they would be, but they're really not. So that, that's a little disappointing. Go back to this. Let's see what we have for duplicates. Most expensive duplicates are well, right around $200. Then it drops down pretty quickly. I've got a lot between like 25 and 45-ish. But the reason I brought you guys back is so that we can do some unlocking. So one of the achievements, yeah, this one popped randomly during, I think it was the last day, a few hours in between recording sessions, but yeah, I, I think this was the last day. Uh, let's see here. We've got 10 shop expansions, which we could do for about four grand. That would leave us with a thousand dollars or we could get the next tier of cards which i think is what i want to do so let's go ahead and look at that it is these ones so 4500 so we could do that and then i could run it for a couple of days and then we could come back and get the expansions the shop expansions yeah, I think that's a game plan. There we go. There's that achievement. Let's buy three of these. And we'll go ahead and stock the shelf. Start the next day. All right. Those were all put up. What do they go for? $14? Okay. Well... We're going to have to do something about the, the shelves. We need to figure something else out. Somewhere to put all these board games. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run this for a couple of days. And then I will bring you guys back here when we have enough money to finish our 10 shop expansions. Which will be that spot there and that spot there, I believe. Alright. Well, it's only been one shift, but we've got enough money to do the shop expansion. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now so let's see in here we need nine and ten yeah we should have enough there we go ten shop expansions we also have enough for want to pick up another shelf for the back and i also want to pick up a another play table yeah i think that'll be fine uh, this is the shelf. Oops, wrong button. There we go. And we'll grab this other play table and slap it down. Actually, we might be able to do two. Possibly. I just gotta get this lined up just right. Alright, let's move all these ones. Oh yeah, plenty of room for another one. Um... Wrong button. Let's go ahead and buy another one. There we go. Now this needs to move a little bit. Eh, you know what? It'll be fine right where it's at. I'm not worried about it. Okay. So the reason I bought the two new tables is because... So we just hit the 1,500 players or customers played in the shop. However, there's one for, I think it's 5,000. Yeah, 5,000. And that's it. So once we hit 5,000, we're good. But right now, I mean, we're, we just hit 1,500. We might have had like 30 people today. So it's going to be a little bit of a grind. I think that 
more tables means more players, hopefully. The downside to that is with the, well, one of the more recent updates is once players are done, there's an increased chance that they'll come over and buy a card. So eventually might need another one of these or a bigger one. Do they have one that's got more than 10 slots? Because that's one we have. That's 400. That one's 10 slots. This one's 12 slots. It's two grand though. Oof. Yeah, I don't know if I really want to spend two grand on a table when I can just get another one of these and put it in there. So maybe we don't do that, but all this miscellaneous stuff seems to be selling pretty good. Like these deck boxes, the dice, the play mats. I actually sold a couple of these. These ones really suck for selling. I'm still on, I think, my first box of them. Yeah, I'm still on my first box. We've got nine of those left. So I'm not sure if maybe the balancing is off in the game, but like... These puzzles sell out no problem. These ones, eh, kind of hit and miss. These ones hardly ever sell, and I'm not sure why. I don't know. Maybe it's something that needs to be rebalanced. But, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more organizing between episodes and run it a few more days, so we got money to do some other stuff. Let's see what our next ones are. Sell a $5,000 card, we could probably do. 10,000 profit in a day, we could probably do that if we were to also do the $5,000 card. Because right now we're hovering right around four to $5,000 a day. So let's see, just to recap this episode, we did the Major Shop expansion. We unlocked the Destiny Rare Pack. We got 1,500 customers to play in the shop. We did the Destiny Basic Pack. And I believe we did all your base, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe B.O. Buster too. I'm not sure. I really don't remember. I don't think that. I think we did all your base, the Destiny Pack, Popular Card Shop, Destiny Rare Pack, and Major Shop Expansion. So... Yeah, we're going to be looking at a lot of money to get the last expansions for the shop. Yeah, that, that gets expensive pretty quick. Yeah, that's it's going to be quite a bit. And then we have the back room that we can also upgrade. It's not as pricey, but it's still kind of pricey. The biggest thing is uh, shop levels. So we're going to have to open a lot more decks. It's, you can see in the right hand side of the screen, I've opened over 5,000 decks. Our next milestone is 10,000 decks. So I'll probably work on that in between episodes as well. But yeah, I'm going to leave it off here. If you guys liked it, go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe if you guys haven't yet. And I will catch you guys in the next one.